Hey, what's up guys? So this is a follow-up video of Infinity X ROM for Redmi Note 8. The last build was pretty bad and there are some improvement on this build but still it's not really a good ROM if you compare with Evolution X and few other ROMs those are doing pretty well so let's explore this ROM and check out what's going on with this ROM. So the ROM is booted up. Let's go and check what we are getting with this ROM. It's based on Android 14 and the latest build of it. I've been trying this ROM few days now. So let's see about phone. Android 14 and you can see this is an official ROM and display resolution Infinity X 1.1 battery mh the fix the camera information here so we are getting 48 megapixel and 8 megapixel ultra wide and 30 megapixel front facing camera which is right and 4gb 64gb that's also right so we are going 5th of may 2024 security patch that's uh, pretty new beside that there's nothing much that's all pretty much similar to all android 14 based from going back the UI is a little bit different than usual Android 14 based ROM. I really like the UI here. It looks very nice. Let's check out the network and internet. So in terms of connectivity, I did not find any kind of issue. Everything is working perfectly fine and it's working actually Bluetooth and quick share and everything is working perfectly fine. No issue with those things. In the display section, we have dark mode and also you can force fully dark theme, brightness level, uh, extra dim and other things all the typical things and display size and text so everything is there double tap to work and everything is there nothing new there wallpaper and we do have like uh, we can choose our clock and other things and change wallpaper section we don't have any kind of ai wallpaper on this build maybe in the future build we will get it and more lock option so there are a few other things here that section uh, it's a typical thing and uh, notification also pretty much typical in the battery section as you can see we have a lot of information about battery battery image cycle count and temperature and the battery backup is pretty good on this rom so there is no issue with the battery backup and anything like that also we do have like charging control option so almost all the functionality are there so the battery backup is quite good on this rom so i've been using three four days i did not face any kind of issue with the battery and going back uh, and sound and vibration setting everything is working no issue with the sound and anything like that accessibility nothing new there the security and privacy setting so we do have face and fingerprint unlock the main issue with face and fingerprint unlock here is they are really slow so now let's try uh, fingerprint unlock so i don't know how long it will take so as you can see it did not again unlock let's try this one okay this time it did and this time you see there is a lot of delay in fingerprint unlock so does in face unlock so let let me try face unlock so as you can see it took a long time to unlock although it is pretty bright area and my face is pretty light up right now it, it is taking a lot of time to like unlock even in the bright area so both of them pretty they are working perfectly fine but pretty slow beside that there is nothing new here everything what we get with other roms are here too even we do have Xiaomi parts option so you can tweak the display setting no issue with those things so now going back this is a gfs build so all the application are there so i did not need to flash any kind of gfs here the rom did came with a miui camera which does work perfectly fine uh, in the last build we had few issue with like 48 megapixel did not work and other issues but this time everything is working and gcam also working perfectly fine no issue with the camera and anything like that now the main issue with this rom is that it's pretty slow actually so sometimes it takes a lot of time sometimes some apps force close itself and this rom is pretty pretty bad for gaming so if you do gaming on your device this one is not really a good for gaming so you should go with something else like evolution x and other things and anyway the raw performance of this rom is not really that great 
few issues with finger pain and other things but the battery backup is really good and bank apps and other things works perfectly fine if you don't install magisk uh, although i don't really recommend anyone to install any kind of bank apps in a custom rom because bootloader is unlocked you don't really know what's going to happen so be aware of those kind of things so anyway this rom is still garbage but if anyone wants to try this rom i will put the link of this rom in the description below so that if you want to try you can try it so that's all about evolution x rom for Redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one